Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the solar eclipse, the new moon in Scorpio. This is going to be a massive people. It's so exciting. If there hasn't been a massive shift in faith, things changing for the positive, it will. Don't you worry, it will. Just like that, you're going to realize that things are so smooth. There is solutions, help, miracles, blessings. By the way, a quick weather update that I feel is very fitting for what's happening, actually, is today it's so misty, like it's really thick. And the mist has been like this since, you know, this morning. And it's first now that it's like very slowly disappearing or becoming more clear, which I feel is very saying for what is about to happen. It will happen slowly, you're going to see things slowly, but slowly doesn't mean in a year. It means that each and every day these miracles and opportunities will find you. That is one massive gift from this new moon in Scorpio. And we have spoken about what Scorpio season is going to bring us. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it up here somewhere. This new moon is two degrees of Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. So take a look at where you have that in your chart because you will feel more affected by this new moon. It probably will feel like a full moon in many aspects because of new beginnings, because of endings and rebirth. Plus, if you are in Europe, Asia, the Middle East or South Africa doing this full moon, you are going to feel it more. It will be the brightest in Russia and Ukraine, actually. So there's positive developments happening, which we all have been waiting for, right? So something is about to happen, but it will be brightest in those areas which is actually very interesting but like i said pay attention to where you have two degrees <sighs> around two degrees so like i said the solar eclipse just brings this energy of like faith and destiny so you are reaping the rewards for very very hard work and when i tapped into the energy tapping into the universe angels and guides one message that popped up the loudest was the message of experimental and change so for me this message is about you exper experimenting with this change coming into your life and i just had this like keyhole it's ready to show me a keyhole so peeking right like peeking in the keyhole and realizing that there is treasures behind the door and then creating your own key to it to actually open up that door we are also going to take some tarot and i'm a little bit unsure what we're going to take but i actually think that the gateway of lights like the activation card cards from Kai Gray could actually give us a lot of beautiful messages with this. But also what I want to say is with this solar eclipse, you might want to dive a little bit deeper and see what is it that you want to change in your life. What is it that needs to be fixed? Obviously, eclipses have both entities, especially now that it is in Scorpio. There could be something that breaks apart. Obviously, there could be breakups. There is a lot of breakups or divorces happening while we have solar eclipses. So that might be something that affects you in one way or another. Or someone you know. 
but it is for the better to come in. It's the end of so circle. It is the end of hardship that has happened, especially the past three years. And I think we all know what has occurred within these past three years. But one thing I just heard Spirit say is that we have done such a good job. We didn't let anything tire us out. We are stronger than ever. We who have learned the lesson is staying together, helping each other. The people who did not learn the lesson, who is not supporters of yours, or who are simply not into the new entity of saving humanity. Don't know where that came from. They are simply not going to be around. Not going to be around you because you are a light. You're very important to the universe. Yeah. And with that, I actually saw Crown Chakra upgrade the dove, which I feel is very well fitting. Very well fitting. Divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energies, that says it all. Yeah. And it's interesting because the heart that is down here is like broken. So I feel like we all have experienced some kind of break, separation, hardship. But now it's fading away like the mist. And I felt tingling sensation at the top of my head, which makes sense with the crown chakra. You will be forced to make a decision, but it's going to be easier than it has been. But you do need to make a decision. Tell them that it will be for the better. I heard. Tell them that it will be for the better. It will be easy. It will not be a hard decision to make now. So rethink. It will not be as hard as it has been. Be open. Be open. Also, something I actually paid attention to. In the daily reading we got for... Tuesday, I believe it was. Thursday. It might have been Thursday, actually. With Kiri. There was this like solar eclipse card. Yeah. I wonder if I can find it now. Oh. Wasn't this something? No. What? Yeah. What was that? Oh, wait. Was that. I can't remember now if it was on Kiri's channel or if it was on mine mine i think it was from the starry ah look at this following the path of another look at this this is this is all uh, what is the solar eclipse is about your path is being redirected to where it should be makes sense something is being redirected something is being changed <laughs> yeah temple of truth you know, this also looks like a portal. Have faith. Trust in yourself. You're way more powerful than you think. Is there anything else? Being guided to reawaken. Probably reawakening something that has been slumbering, sleeping. Something with your dreams as well is very, very potent. <sighs> but the feeling that I have is that there is this like you're awakening something that has been sleeping inside of you, like an ability, a strength, a talent. Nothing is holding you back anymore. That is something you have to realize that what normally stopped you, the fears that normally stopped you in the past are not stopping you anymore. But we have to still convince our conscious mind that it is so, right? And the conscious mind will obviously keep popping up with fear. Like the ego will still blink up fear to be like, is this like, 
can we trust this? So it's like finding a balance between your heart and your mind, the ego and your soul to calm down your ego, not to silence the ego because the ego is very important, especially for your new pathway. You're reawakening your ego and abilities, talents. I don't know why I keep wanting to shuffle the deck. Now we should do the big shuffle. New journey, new as <laughs> a your life is just not going to be as it has been, like an upgrade. You will not live where you are. You have been lived for the longest of times, and it's happening within this year. <coughs> I heard spirits say, "I know you want to have um, a clean jumper, one card, but that's just not going to happen." <laughs> Which actually thinking about it is like we want to jump from A to to D, right? And the spirit is like, "You're not going to have that clear." Clean jump. We actually have three, and this is actually very saying, right? Awakening something, swimming into the portal, and boom, the castle, the holy dream, <laughs> the holy dream. <laughs> what is this turning into? Sacred inner space, sacred chakra, yeah, sacral chakra, tenderness, security sensuality you're awakening that sensuality inside of you is that what has been slumbering and sleeping for the longest of times with this new moon in scorpio obviously like i said two degrees of scorpio taurus aquarius leo pay attention to where you have that especially if it is very close by three or five degrees apart from two degrees. I actually don't know how it works if it's like two degrees and down. Like, is it just one or do they count? How does that work? Any super astrologers out there who knows? Because I have, have always been wondering if it's like such a lower degree, like how is how does it work if it's like lower than two degrees? Is it like two and then a major degree what is that if you know please let me know because then we have to dig a little bit deeper in our chart and see what else than one or two degrees right yeah but three four five or six degrees seven degrees maybe even but the closer it is to number two stronger and i feel like what i tried <laughs> to explain is that I feel like you're actually awakening something in your chart when it comes to the Scorpio energy, the Taurus energy, the Aquarius energy, the Leo energy. I felt like the screen flickered. Um, bye. Okay, I am going to skim through. I'm not going to read everything because no one has time for that right now. But really pay attention to all the signs, which actually came up in the weekend reading, I believe. Pay attention to your dreams, because your dreams, oof, what, what tingles, what tingles your heart? What is it that you want? Like, is there something that you really like burn for that you really want to do? Do Ask yourself, why is it that I don't do it? Is it because of fear? Is it because someone or something is holding me back? No matter if it's love or if it is experience or whatever it is. If it's about work, whatever. What is it that you want now? Write it in the comments. If you could choose a path or some kind of experience, what would it be? What do you want to experience or do? Sacral chakra. Yeah, it makes sense why we talk about that. And then we have the sacral. I actually want to dig deeper because I know that our chakras are being activated in a certain age. Yeah. That is linked together with experiences. You are being guided to the gateway of your sacred self. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity to recognize that the more tender and vulnerable there we have a non-vulnerability, vulnerability, vulnerability, 
and vulnerable aspects of your being hold <laughs> this is interesting aspects of your being hold keys to great power keys keyhole and the next card is the portal wow there's a huge lesson in finding love within yourself realizing that false narratives have been floating around your energetic field stories that have discouraged you from expressing yourself you are that a wild kitten the tiger the passionate a monkey <laughs> is that even that is you why am i laughing about that because be serious sandra no matter if you're male or female you are a passionate lion <laughs> right yeah and you deserve it. See, I keep questioning, like, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, God damn it, we are. Kundalini, I heard. Yeah, well, I guess that to awaken our Kundalini energy, we do need to awaken that sensual, passionate energy. If we can be passionate to ourselves, we can attract that into our life. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take tarot today. Well, maybe I'm going to take one, actually. Never mind, people. I will take one. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We will see how they, you know, how they will correspond with, with these. So the next one, which is what you are stepping into with this beautiful new moon, is Supernova. Recreation, renewal, rebirth by lights. And it needs to be dark before it can be light, right? The mist has to be thick and heavy and whatever. So that it can release itself and leave like a fresh feeling because the um the mist, I don't know if I said dust, <laughs> dust doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, it probably does. But the mist does something, right? It leaves some kind of particles or moisture in the air after or two yeah it must do something but it's you know it's something that makes us like aware like we are a little bit scared of it because we associate it with mysterious times with the unknown yeah it is a little bit scary but it has its purpose like this it has its purple purpose because see where it leads you all of your fears, there you go. And setbacks, setbacks are being stripped from your energy now. Isn't that just what we spoke about? Hauntings, I heard. If you find yourself in hauntings, actually what I did here is that you will find yourself in some kind of haunted house, haunted building, haunted something, location, where you're going to heal something, help something, reaching out damn it's floating no it's floating <laughs> what <laughs> what is happening are some of you guys ghost hunters <laughs> or just like very sensitive to the other world there's something you're going to capture or something you're going to see or feel there is a help there is a help helping of more than one don't ask me what's happening. That is uh, interesting. Helping the people cross over, maybe. Or communicating through spirit. Spirit communicating through you. Mm. Drink more water. I heard with that. Drink more water. Yeah. Okay. So, the next one. Shambhala. Initiations. Recreate... Retreating to recharge. Very important during Scorpio season before we step into Sagittarius season. Trusting in the process. Mm -hmm. Drama. Drama. What do you call that? Absolutely. Last little reading session before we take whatever spirit and universe want from the tarot. Oh, what a flowy, relaxed reading we're doing today. Sit in it, relax.
I don't know what spirit showed me a staircase. Something about a staircase. Well, it could be some polygrine. Shangri-La. It's a city of light. Said to be hidden somewhere in the Himalayas near Tibet. Hmm? When things quieting down in your life, know that this isn't a failure, but an opportunity to retreat and recharge. In the busyness of the physical world, our spirit is often playing catch up with our body to the point that it gets used to being overactive and overworked. When the great masters of Shambhala, I might pronounce that wrong, come to you, they are encouraging you to take time to be away from the outer world and dive into the inner world. I just had this picture of someone out there. You have someone, I don't know if it's a spirit guide or it feels like a male spirit guide that went behind you and like you did this with your shoulders. I was like, man, you're tense. <laughs> That's not bad. So you guys, you're tense. You need to relax, damn, you are tense. You need a break. <laughs> Scorpio season. We know what's happening. We can't run away from this. And we are not running away. We are not hiding. We are standing with our light. We are this vision that I had last year. Do you guys remember the ver the, the, vermit? <laughs> the vermit? The hermit vision with me seeing all of us. Me and all of you standing in like blue lights with our staff. <laughs> way bigger than this one and like activating this light on top of it and holding it up and it just spread it to all the wands that we were holding and it spread it out to the world that is something we have done already now comes the magic you have been a part of that no matter if you just clicked on this uh, video two seconds ago well, that can't be possible. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> wow. I think this it's a long time ago that I made a long video like this. Anyway, spirit. Wow. If this is not... Oh my god! What did we get? Staircase. Look at the staircase. Look at the smile. This is a hierophant, and I love this hierophant because this is like you're a teacher. You are your own teacher. This actually fits very well together. Upgrades, yes. Rebirth, Scorpio, new moon in Scorpio. Nine of Wands, what is she holding? Yes, you see how far you have come. You realize that the fight is over. The only thing that's left now is to start this new journey and not give up do not give up also if you take a look at this shininess and the shininess here for me that is a massive sign that you are awakening something massive big something at your brain your consciousness might not even know how to actually Fable, fiddle, take in. It's like, I don't really understand what it is that you're saying, Sandra, but I know something is happening in my life. Something is happening inside of me. Yeah, the awakening, the happening within and so without. Spirit wants to speak with you, talk with you, show you. So pay attention to that. Go out there, experience, right? That is what we got. The first message was experiment, experimental change. So experiment, experiment, experiment <laughs> with the change, with your talent, with everything, with the love, attract, allow. And that is the last word for me. Thank you so much for being here today. And just stand tall with your rewards with your lights so that you can shine for yourself but definitely also waters because you are 
a master teacher, no matter if you see it or not. Mm -hmm. You're doing that is one thing that I just or someone wants to give out. Wherever you're working, you're doing such a good job. You're helping. I see this image. Spirit showed me an image. It kind of feels like something like a hospital. Like you helped something, someone. Well, it's a big room. It's a bright room. But I have this like flash of someone wearing like something very, something very simple. So it could be something with a hospital. But to help, help the soul that might have passed away or that might um, have had a hard time. But whoever could be this soul or a spirit guide being like, you did such a big thing with what you did. Like you really helped. Keep doing that. that. Keep doing that. Keep doing what you do. No matter where you're working. No matter if you are sitting in a, in a grocery store. If you are counting money. <laughs> must be a nice job. If you are a dog walker if you are writing a book if you are an actor if you are a youtuber a tarot reader whatever you are how little you think you give you actually give a lot so much more because you are the catalyst you are the light so you just being present in your reality in your job in your day-to-day -day work if you're walking down the street, that is actually healing enough for the world and other people. Well, <laughs> emotional. I got emotional with that. Damn. <laughs> okay, I think it's time, people, to end this. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.